Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you a really easy and simple way to remove backgrounds from your favorite photos. So first we're going to start with a background that's one solid color. And this is the easiest background to get rid of. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to colors and we're going to go to color to alpha. And as you can see, I've already selected the background color of this photo. And to do that, you want to go over to the eyedropper tool and you want to select the layer that your image is on and you want to click the color that you want to get rid of. Now we're going to go down to this color box and we're going to see this HTML notation and we're going to remember that it's 1FC0FF or you can just copy and then paste it. So we're going to hit OK and we're going to go back to this color to alpha dialog. So, down here we see from this color to alpha, and what alpha is is transparency. So we're going to click this, and we already have set the HTML notation to match the background color. So we're going to click OK. And it gives us a preview, and as you can see it goes from this to transparency. And we click OK. And now, the layer that we had under this Twitter icon, this gray color, is now the background. And as you can see, this layer now is completely transparent. And if we wanted to manipulate this layer, we can, we can make this logo smaller and it's not going to change anything. We can now place it anywhere on our background. All right, so now on to the harder projects. When we want to get rid of a background that is multiple colors from the foreground image that we want. So this takes a little bit more time and the results depend on how much time you spend on this. So one tip that I have for you is to keep the point that you start to the point that you're going to end in this background area here. You do not want it in the middle of this image or it might cause you problems halfway through your project and you don't want that. So to save you time, start outside of the view box and you're going to come down here to the starting point of where you want to cut out this image. And what we want to do is we want to zoom in so we can see all the little details that we want to cut around. So we have this point here and we're just going to continue to cut around and I really recommend to magnify to the um, percentage you need to see all of the different crevices and bumps and curves that you need to go around and adjust them accordingly. So this is how you trace around. And what I've already done is I have created a path around this parrot or bird, whatever bird this is. And as you can see, I went through all the curves and went around them and made sure that they were pretty tight to what I wanted my image to be cut out as. So once we have this path, what we need to do is create a selection around this path. So um, the layers dialog is where you see all of your layers. And over here, it gives you these four options. We want to go over to the path dialog and we want to go down to our selection that we made with our path tool. And we want to right click it and we want to go down to path to selection. And what this is going to do, it's going to make a selection around the path that you just made. And it's very simple. And now to get rid of this path, we do this and then we cut this image out. And then we get rid of this background and we create a new layer. And what we want to do is we want to paste what we just cut out onto this layer. And then we want to create a new layer onto that. So now you can see what we have this cut out parrot to the gray background that we wanted and it got rid of this green background that we couldn't get rid of. Thanks for watching!